want to know, do you need to stretch a muscle or not? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about not first. You know, if you don't need to stretch a muscle, it's not tight, it's not causing you any pain mm -hmm. or dysfunction, or it's not preventing you from doing a task like bread, martial arts, what did you have to do? Well, you don't have to, but a lot of people like to kick high right. way up there, and tight muscles prevent that. Right. So if you don't have any of those goals, don't stretch the muscle. You're a busy person. You don't have time, right? Right. And if you like to, you can. It's, yes. It's okay. It but, feels you know. good. It's mm -hmm. relaxing. Go ahead and do it. Uh, right before before bed is a great time sure. to stretch. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the muscles that should be stretched. Number one. That should? Yeah, should. Should be stretched. Should. Okay. Number one, muscles that appear or feel tight. Sure. Obviously. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you, sometimes you can tell by looking at a muscle, actually. You know, when, let's say, you go like this, right. and you go like this. And, yeah, you or, can't reach up into the cupboard uh, with one arm, but the maybe, other one. Maybe a better example is hamstring. Mm-hmm. Right? So you can go way up on one side and not as far up on the other side. And this often occurs when maybe you started a new activity and it's like, oh my good, you know, you maybe you started uh, playing tennis and you didn't realize, you know, how right muscle imbalances. Now these are quite prevalent, I think, Brad. Mm -hmm. uh, you go measure, you know, from side to side, like. My right side might be tighter than my left side, sure. or my front side of the body may be tighter than my back side. Sure. And that's usually what we see. Like a good example is the chest muscles are quite tight on most people. And what it does is it curls you over and rolls your shoulders yeah. forward. And that is if the muscles have tender spots like scar tissue or micro tears, mm -hmm. They they uh, probably need some mobilization or stretching. Right. And you may get some scar tissue. Kind of wondering, maybe you pull the muscle. And I don't mean drastically, but if you pull it so it hurts for a little bit, and you kind of limp, and then it goes away in a day or two, and you don't think anything of it. Well, you may have some scar tissue in there from right. that that minor injury. Uh, if you exercise a lot and you get a lot of soreness uh, after exercise. There's uh, usually some micro tears. Mm -hmm. There's some blood pooling or accumulated waste products. Right. And this, like blood, it doesn't stick out. This is all at the microscopic right. level, so to speak. And that's why you get sore muscles after you exercise. I want, I want massage or stretch it right after, Brad. Mm -hmm. That's according to uh, Brad Walker. Right. I mean, you actually want to wait till probably like a couple hours later. Right. 